In this lab, we will use chromatography to solve the case of the unidentified ink. This separation technique is used for many purposes, including solving crimes and catching criminals. A check was written and signed for a large sum of money. We don't know who signed the check. There are three suspects in this case, all of whom uses a different black pen. The owner of the checkbook uses pen B. The notorious criminal uses pen C, and the bank teller uses pen D. Exhibit A shows a chromatogram of the ink that was extracted from the check. We will conduct an experiment much like the one we performed in Lab 17.2 with the black, brown, green, and red marker to determine whose pen actually wrote the check. Using the chromatography paper, we can analyze each of the black pens more carefully. Make sure that you write a detailed procedure before conducting the experiment. After allowing the solutes to separate, we can see that pen B is insoluble. It didn't travel up the paper at all. Pen C is soluble, and it's composed of a bluish solute. Pen D is also soluble, but it's composed of a purplish solute. Its solubility rate is a bit faster than pen C's. Plus, it makes a very unique, thinly shaped pattern when traveling up the chromatography paper. When we compare Exhibit A to our test results, we can confidently conclude that the person who wrote the check is the bank teller. Her pen's chromatogram is almost identical to Exhibit A, with similar color solutes and the same dissolving pattern. Chromatography is a process used to separate different solutes from a solution by passing them through a piece of chromatography paper. It's a technique used to solve specific problems and crimes. The dyes travel up the paper because they are soluble in water. We can determine which dye is more soluble by analyzing the location on the paper. If the solute moves up the paper farther and faster than the other dyes, it's most soluble. If on the other hand it moves up slowly, the solute is least soluble. Think of the yellow and blue dyes from the green ink in lab 17.1. The blue dye was more soluble than the yellow dye because it moved up faster on the chromatography paper.